opportunities for public comment. This is a, a opportunity to come forward and speak on any issue on or off the agenda um, that is of interest. Is there anyone that would like to come forward and speak at this time? Come on up. Hello, Council. My name is uh, Dan. This is my wife, Courtney, and I'm here to address my concern about last month Council's meeting to uh, vote to allow Amazon to install a large lighted light facing center drive. Uh, I have a couple simple slides to go through. Um, here you'll see presented in front of you, copy of the presentation, and also up on the screen. On the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the view of Amazon uh, as viewed from center drive. This is across the intersection. Uh, in reference to the, the picture in the bottom right-hand corner is the, the entrance to Intel. Now, when construction was ongoing, uh, I contacted Duke Realty personally, and I contacted several members in this room uh, concerned about how construction was going, and I was, I was kind of given the... Uh, condolences that they were modeling it after Intel, that there would be certain privacy screens and medians built in so that there would be no break in the tree line and that this uh, Amazon will follow suit with Intel. Um, as you can see, Amazon made, made no sort of attempt to follow what Intel did. Uh, there's no median in the center of the road to provide any kind of tree cover. And most importantly, there's no screen of trees which the road would divide around to allow that consistent uh, tree line without that break. I mean, you're currently looking at a, a, a swath of, that a football field could fit into in center drive. Uh, next slide. Uh, here you'll just see a close-up of their side of the street looking in a direct line of sight to the building with no attempt to conceal the building at all uh, compared with, again, the Intel entrance with a small kind of uh, a light sign that fits fits the area. It's, it's small, but it's still noticeable. People know, know where that sign is. They know where it is. There's no need for 20-foot lettering on the side of a building. Um, also, 20-foot lettering on the side of a building, that's not a retail shop. There's no need for somebody to go into there. They don't need to know where that building is. I'm not going to order something on Amazon and try to walk to this warehouse to return it. To have a 24-hour reminder that this is on Center Drive uh, it just doesn't seem to fit the neighborhood. Um, Next slide. Here you just see a couple of pictures from my backyard in Edmonds Marsh community. Um, it was said last month, as, as you guys were voting on this proposal, that you know one lighted sign isn't going to make a difference in DuPont, but that if we look down from Hoffman Hill and CSC and Neon, you know, then we may make a change. So I'm here just to politely remind the, the council that there's more to DuPont than Hoffman Hill and McNeil. That the neighborhood of Edmonds Marsh, while small, smaller than some of the neighborhoods, is very tight-knit, and that we feel passionately about this and about Amazon having to live up to what they've already promised the neighborhood. I'm not against them having a lighted sign. They can have a lighted sign, and that's, that's in suit with Intel. I am against them having a lighted sign without having to do any of the work that they promised they would already do, such as the median or the tree screen. I think if they want a lighted sign, it needs to be a compromise that they improve the current uh, view of their building. And that's all I have in your questions. Thank you. Great. Thank you for, for coming forward and sharing this. And if, and if you guys want to talk more afterwards, I mean, myself and the staff would be glad to make ourselves available to talk about kind of the decision-making process and the information that was here because as, as you know I mean this was a this was a, a, a long um, thought out public process that involved lots of comments and lots of perspectives and appreciate you coming forward tonight and and continuing to share your, your public comments and your perspective and if you want to talk afterwards I'd be glad to make time it's it's a reoccurring event that the staff and the council do not serve the citizens and I hate to say it but a young couple who have a house that will never be able to sell a house because they look out to Amazon, you serve the developers again, over and over. You never serve the citizens. So I've asked this many times. When will you serve the citizens? 